The start button on 2022 has been pushed, but the trends we saw in 2021 didn't suddenly end on New Year's Eve. Today's program includes some of the 40 vehicles I reviewed on Family Wheels in 2021, how they were part of those trends, and what might lie ahead this year. Do give the show a like, it'll help keep fuel in the tank and a charge in the battery. Leave a comment, subscribe, and click the little bell to be notified of future episodes. Global economic turmoil from the coronavirus did not spare the automotive sector. Lockdown-driven closures of factories in 2020 gave way to shortages of microprocessors, chips that is, and other components in 2021. And here are two victims of that shortage. The Mercedes-AMG GLE 63S Coupe is a 603-horsepower monster disguised as a two-row SUV. At close to $151,000 Canadian, it's also highly profitable, but Mercedes-Benz has stopped making it, and most other models with V8 engines. Similarly, the little Mercedes-AMG A35, a $55,000 rich kid subcompact with 302 horsepower from a four-cylinder engine, is no longer listed on the Mercedes-Benz USA website. And Mercedes is not alone in posting online warnings that some models or features might not be available, as the chips that make them possible are not in the supply chain. MB subsequently warned that production overall has been hit by the shortage. Even Toyota, the first to use just-in-time auto manufacturing, modified it to have stockpiles of critical components, but announced a major production cutback in the fall of 2021. Of those reviewed on Family Wheels, the best is the Ford Mustang Mach-E, one of my top five. This made-in-Mexico electric is aimed squarely at the sweet spot, the two-row compact SUV. It's practical and peppy, and I think its handsome styling is streets ahead of the bug-ugly Tesla Model Y and Car Without a Face Model 3, which admittedly moved far more units. But Mach-E's are selling as fast as Ford can make them, and already outpace the gas engine Mustang. As we're still in the early stages of the electric car era, some vehicles miss the mark. The Volvo XC40 Recharge is powerful, smooth, and luxurious, with decent if not market-leading range, but our review car cost almost $65,000. The Mazda MX-30 is a jewel of a car. Sophisticated styling, an interior like a Copenhagen living room, and a ride so smooth you'd think it was a BMW 5 Series, but its limited cargo space comically small rear seat, and high price, over $44,000 base, are deal killers, and that's without considering its 160 kilometer, just 100 mile range, shortest in the biz. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, PHEVs, reviewed in 2021, included the excellent Toyota RAV4, a top five, and the also excellent Chrysler Pacifica. They're good electrified options for one vehicle families. Full battery electrics will make more news in 2022, though. The first run of the stunning Hyundai Ioniq 5 is already sold out. Volkswagen Group, after years of over-promising and under-delivering, will finally supply the North American market with the VW ID4 crossover, plus BEVs from Audi, including the Q4. Early adopter Nissan will deliver the Aria, and it won't have the Betamax of charging connectors, the Chad Emo. BMW will have the i4 sedan and the iX crossover, and Mercedes the luxury EQS. Upstart Lucid Motors is getting rave reviews for its EV, but good luck getting one even if you can spend well into six figures. Perhaps the biggest debut for 22 could be the Ford F-150 Lightning, the electrified version of North America's top-selling vehicle. Demand for used cars took off in the first year of the pandemic as workers avoided public transit. They continued to be pricey in 2021 as production of new vehicles was hit by the chip shortage and other supply chain issues. Here's a picture of a large Vancouver area car dealership. It's mostly unoccupied asphalt. If the supply chain is repaired this year, look for new car sales to surge in advance of expected interest rate increases and hopefully used car prices will fall. The Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz are hot sellers with buyers realizing they don't need a giant sized pickup truck but still want room to carry stuff securely and their family comfortably. I'll be reviewing the Maverick hopefully soon but can already tell you the Santa Cruz is terrific, one of my top five in 2021. Sales of SUVs and crossovers have, with the perennial exception of pickup trucks, dominated North American auto sales in a trend that began years ago, and there's nothing on the horizon to stop it. But while some manufacturers have abandoned the sedan, there's still a great selection to be found in the Honda Civic, one of my top five, Hyundai Sonata N-Line, Alfa Romeo Giulia, 
Acura TLX, Mini Cooper S5 door, Genesis G80, and Volvo V90 cross country. That's just among cars I've reviewed. And for sheer fun or ultimate luxury, I recommend the Mazda MX-5 RF or Rolls-Royce Ghost, respectively. These are some of the stories that could influence 2022, but what do you think? Leave a comment, give us a like, and click subscribe. And above all, thanks for watching. I'm Richard Detman. See you next time on Family Wheels.